well, I wanted to start doing a few um, short text sections just to kind of help people understand some of the basics, maybe go into a little bit deeper stuff if you guys request it. Um, also just got in the new Prime uh, Synergy Hybrid, so I thought I'd use this bow off to show off the uh, first tip we wanted to, to give to you guys. So one of the things that we deal with on a very regular basis at the shop is draw length and peep height um, problems, being too long, too short, peep height, too high, too low. Um, so what I wanted to demonstrate real quick here is just how you tell if your bow is at a proper draw length. Um, it very much helps if you have somebody else that can watch you do this, um, whether they're educated as to this part of it or not. So when you draw a bow back, it should look pretty much exactly like this. So your front arm shouldn't be overextended, it shouldn't be shortened, it should be just kind of naturally straight. And the string should hit right across the corner of your lip and right across the tip of your nose. So if you're you know, stretching or if you're, you're bending your arm to get the bow back into you, um, those are indications that the draw length on your bow is incorrect. On a similar note, I'm going to switch to a different bow that has a peep sight in it. So, very similarly to that, uh, with peep problems, so when you draw the bow back and it falls into that natural anchor position, just like that, that peep should come right in front of your eye. And actually this one is a perfect example of a peep issue. When I pull this up against my cheek, that peep is about a quarter of an inch low. So I have to move the bow down in order for me to be able to see through that peep sight. So those kinds of things are going to break your anchor point. They're going to cause you to have inconsistencies. It's going to be much more difficult for you to shoot your bow, um, and it's going to be less fun. So um, hopefully those things help you out. Um, also, that gives you a little bit of a look at the new Synergy Hybrid from Prime. Um, if you have any additional questions that you'd like us to cover or that you want me to go over quickly, um, feel free to put that in the comments and we'll do another video.